Hey Stampers, it's Gator again. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the, the cards as they go on through the week. Um, or last week, should I say, even. Um, and I've come back with this one. My punch finally arrived. And I just, I'm in love with these colours. I just love Grapefruit Grove. I love Highland Heather. I just love this gingham paper. It's just beautiful. And yeah, this is the punch that comes with the stamp set. This is the Butterfly Gala. Oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. And I've had it for a while, but waiting for them to send me the punch. So, yeah, we've done this one. And if you've noticed, you can see these butterflies here. Excuse me. Put my screen on just to make sure I can see as well. <laughs> and uh, I've added shimmer to them, but not via the paint. I use my shimmer, just this water that I've had for ages now it just settles in the bottom you just keep shaking it and it, this is rubbing alcohol so what I did was I just got my little paintbrush and dipped it in the water in the rubbing alcohol and added some shimmer and along the lines on the butterflies here as well you can just see that little sparkle there and on that one at the top just beautiful. I know it's quick and simple. We've got them on the inside. In fact, I'll show you what I did. Just take this off quickly. It dries instantly, so don't worry about that. And then just dipped my brush. And this is a really fine tip. And then just went over those little striped areas. Because this is just a little bit of rubbing alcohol and the shimmer's in there, when the person gets the card, they will open it and they will see that little sparkle just on there. Just there, beautiful. Anywhere there's a stripe, I haven't put in them. Um, I won't do any on the little ones. Oh, go on then. Let's just have a little bit of sparkle on the little ones as well. Just, just a little, that, I mean, it's not going to waste anything. And because this has been dried, the ink for a while, it's not spreading it. Look, you can't see it anywhere else. So that's what I did on those butterflies. We're going to do it again in a minute. Just to add a bit of decoration on the inside. Now look at that little sparkle there. Can you see that? The sparkle's been added. The person who gets it will catch that in the light. And, oh, they will enjoy it for so much. Love it. So, you're going to need, I've got all my little pieces here. This is my piece of gingham, that beautiful new ribbon, and my other, which is a little bit long at the moment, but we can cut that down to size. That's going to go across there. Oh, just love the gingham. It's just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just grab some scissors. I'm going to cut that the opposite way. Well, well that wasn't very good, was it, Gainer? Cut it like you mean it. There we go. And then that one is going to get cut that way as well. Perfect now. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> it's just one of my favourite colours. This piece is going to be for your butterflies and all those little... Um, well, I've got actually this piece I'm going to chop my five extra butterflies out from. This is my thick A4 card. Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And scored at four and one eighth. And we're now burnishing it. Both sides keep our card relatively closed. This is going to get glued on here. And I'm matching up the... the the lines that way I uh, oh it needs to be a little bit higher so I don't um, I can make sure it's straight so I'm gonna leave about that much showing at the top and then that one I can make sure I can line it up see with the <gasps> love it oh look my art get glitter glue came as well uh, I'm still waiting for the nib to come <coughs> comes out relatively fit. It's quite a thin glue actually. 
and I'm going to glue, I'm going to have the small gingham on this side. I've got one coming with a metal pin and a finer tip. This is off um, an old tacky glue, but love it. Right, let's line this up again. Oh, I reckon about there should be perfect. Line that up there and there. Keep that nice and straight. Just the tiniest, tiniest little bit hanging over. That'll do. Just a slither. Oh, let me just make sure that is straight. Yes, 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 yes. Lay. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, this has got a little stopper in the lid, so that's why it's on there. Right, I grabbed some tape for my ribbons to stay down. Just going to pop a little bit on the back. And this is like one eighth of an inch, this, rib, uh, this tape. This is the one I had from Stix 2. It's like 89 pence and it come in, do you remember me saying it come in the bag without uh, any boxes or packaging or anything? But So for 89 pence, I had a couple of rolls. Just going to make sure you squash the ends down. You can take the backing off. There we go, that's got it. I'm just going to add this to my ribbon. Love that new white ribbon as well. Beautiful. And then I added some slightly thicker. I think this is a quarter of an inch. Just to the back, it just keeps it on the card. I like to do that. But I'm also liking to add the glue these days. You add the glue. Especially this stuff and the other one I was using. And it looks and grips brilliantly, especially on my bows. I used to use a, what's it called? A glue dot, but you can guarantee if you knock it, it comes off, but with this way it doesn't. Now I'm pulling the sticky off here. <laughs> Let's get this idea down properly and make it stick to our ribbon. It's fiddly. That's better, that's got it. And I'm just going to going to stir, pop this right through my card. Love the gingo because you've got the lines and you can you can basically line it up. Oh, I love it. And we're going to fetch in our beautiful, gorgeous grape. I love this colour so much. And I'm sorry that you've seen a few cards made of this colour, but I just love it. Love it. We're going to be using some of them brand new sequins in the shape of flowers. I'm going to stamp this message right under here. That is just gorgeous. Thank you so very much. Oh, I love it. I've got my nice clean cloth. It won't be clean for long. <laughs> And now you're going to need, I'm just leaving this to one side. We're going to fetch this in. Now I stamped the image in black. You can use your blends on these. You can use just, they give you these outlines so you can fill the gaps in, in one go. But if you want to do multicolored, just use either a permanent black ink or memento ink that works well with your blends. And I'm just going to... Beautiful, absolutely 
beautifully stamped. I, I love them. And I'm doing it at this end so I don't have to cut my paper up when I turn the punch round. Take this and if you wash this straight off it doesn't uh, doesn't stain them much at all. Perfect. So that's the only time I've used the black. And then like I'm saying, uh, you've got the bodies on here. You can use the thick one for the body of the butterfly, which I'm going to do. I'm not going to put the antennae on until I've cut them out. Perfect. Oh, it's just, they're so pretty. The detail on these is just amazing. Perfect. You've got you've got the large one here and the, for the small one there and the large one there and you've got the small antenna. I don't think I used uh, the little body on the last one. I forgot. But you can um, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you with the small one, but then I'm going to use my pen, my blend, because I need to stamp off because it was too dark. When I do, when I used it the first time, so you stamp off, and that then will colour your little butterfly in. Oh, I got that bang on then, did I? Look, there's no gaps, nothing. Perfect. And you've got the shapes then for the bottom half of the butterfly and the top half of the wings. You can swap them up. Um, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to try and do those small ones again because I got that one really bang on that time. So I can add glitter and detail now to this to these ones. I'd left the other ones really dark, so I did it again. Oh, look at that! I'm getting good at this, girls. <laughs> so pretty! What a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Tiny little miss there, but oh my gosh, how gorgeous are these butterflies going to turn out to be? You can have your multicoloured cards, you can have your multicoloured butterflies, they're just absolutely adorable. I love them. So, I'm going to show you also with the blends, absolutely wonderful. So, I'm going to start off with the light, and I'm sticking basically to the same colour. Colour in the details. Oh, I'm going to leave that white that strip there. White. Oh no, I'm not. It looks pink, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. You can go over those little bits that you miss as well. This is why I wanted to show the pen. I mean, if you wanted to use those colours, you could. But you can really... I will do a card with the butterflies again. And I'll do multi-colours and go show you all the different types of blending you can do. Just so so pretty and soothing for me. So relaxing, therapeutic. 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 <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to do one. Fetch in the dark. And we're just going to work our way out. I do apologise about that. My battery just went dead on me. So we've swapped it over now for a good one. 
So I'm coming in now and I'm just going to, I'm going to miss bits and just do some nice blending here. Just love it. And I'm going to darken these little bits. I mean, don't get me wrong, these butterflies look absolutely beautiful, absolutely wonderful, but I added extra colours. But this now, it's really giving that butterfly definition. And it's sticking out beautifully. Just look at that. And now I'm going to just dub the tips like the tail's been dip dyed. Just gorgeous. Oh, just simply love it. The weather's been awful. Isn't that beautiful? How beautiful is that? So you can do the same on this one. We don't matter which way around you use your blends. You can do like a mermaid colour. A unicorn colour. Blend purples and blues together to just get some absolutely stunning looking butterflies. Just gorgeous. And now this time I'm just going to do a bit of shading around here and leave those. It's, you know, it's so windy here. It sounds like fireworks going off, but it's not. It's the wind. And then I'm just going to go back over with the light. Oh, it's so pretty. Just so, so pretty. You can spend ages doing these, but you can just do it quickly and not use the stamps, but just stamp wouldn't give you this definition. The rain is terrible. Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to move on to my other. Oh, I love them. Each one now is going to be different. So let's fill in the dark this time. What are we going to do this time? We're going to. Let's leave everything else dark and leave everything else pale. I lose myself in this girl's. If I go quiet, I don't mean to be. It's because I'm concentrating just on how wonderful this beautiful stamp set is. Please don't retire this stamping up. I think this will be really popular. Very popular indeed. Sorry ladies, <laughs> in me concentrating like mad. I've got my tongue sticking out and perfect. And now we're gonna do the other bit in the pail. So I'm gonna get my 
a little tip out with it. Look at that. Just stunning. It honestly sounds like fireworks going off here. In the distance. Look how beautiful that is. I love these sets. Thank you, Stampin' Up! for fetching these out. Absolutely beautiful. And the punch, the punches are my favourites. Because I get to punch them out in front of you. Oh, just divine. How cool. We could add a little bit of darker detail to our little butterflies. And lose yourself in colouring. It's just wonderful. Perfect. I'm not doing any more now, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. There goes our punch. And it lines up perfectly. There's a crap there by me on Sunday. So I'm going to go... Whoops. How beautiful. Look at those. Just stunning. Beautiful. Oh, have I clipped his wing? He seems to be okay. Seems fine to me. He's all in the shot. And there we got this last one here. Perfect. So I got all this spare. I'm going to cut that down and utilize that. And then I'm just going to punch out five of the little ones as well. Whoops little bits everywhere and scooch in and get another one there and scooch in and get another one there and I've still got space uh, uh, plenty of for more so get rid of our bits love that punch These are the ones we're going to be using. Get that in the bin. And, oh, love it. I'm going to fetch my card in. And I'm just going to dot these, take the lid off my glue. I'm just going to add my, my larger ones first. I'm just bending them slightly to add my glue. Oh, they're just so sweet. And I'm going to add two of the blanks as well. And then we're going to get to colouring in them in. Oh, love it. Uh, with the glimmer paint. The shimmer paint. Shimmer spray, but <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. So now I'm going to pick another one of these beautiful butterflies. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I love that one as well. I'm going to put, these are going to go on the front. We're going to use all these. 
there. I'm just changing the shape of which my butterflies are facing. Even my little one. I mean, this glue goes off pretty quick, it does. Absolutely adorable. Love it. Just changing the shapes. The that's going that way, the other one's going that way. Just so they add balance. This one can go here. This one is going to go here. Perfect, just perfect. So while they tend to dry a bit, I'm going to come in and we're going to add our butterflies on the inside. I'm going to glue these all down because they won't stay popped open. On this uh, on the inside. So I'm going to come on this side today. And we're going to get that little stamen out in a minute and then do the stem uh, antennae. Oh, listen to that rain. Can you hear it? It's like a blizzard here. The last one. Oh, I love it. Love it. So, in comes back our ink. I mean, you could oh, you could always st stamp the centers when they were once you've cut them out. So, and the antennae. line up beautifully. So let's get our little ones. I'm going to get the little centre stem out as well. Oh, I love it. This is tiny, and I mean tiny. There it is. Look how small. You've got wings. You could do this individual patterns for those as well. You could also make individual, let me shut that lid on there, it's drying out really quickly. So then you just, you put your little bodies in afterwards. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So, got one more body here, love it. Gosh, these cloths dry out so quickly. So let's keep them damp, so. I just love that they've thought of everything. Everything, they're just absolutely fabulous. Nice dump there, nice dump their bodies beforehand. Everything's clean and back to how it should be. My daughter's 29 today, bless us all. My youngest baby. <laughs> and then we've got these beautiful, beautiful... We've got the shape of flowers and the normal. So I'm adding three of those wonderful little flowers. One. Two. And this one last time is going here. Three. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. You, we've even got the wooden elements. We could add those it's, uh, on another card. And I'm just putting a little rhinestone in the centre of my little flowers. Just to add a bit more bling. Perfect. And then I'm coming back with my shimmer spray. It settles on the bottom. Just knock it around. 
I should make a little one up and keep it in a bottle so I can just take the lid off instead of having to watch that drip. I'm going to grab my paintbrush now and I basically just dip it in and then paint a little butterfly. It dries so quickly so lift it up to the light so you can see where you've added colour. That one went a little bit further this time. Oh, I can see me ordering loads of this gingham paper. It's just beautiful. Yeah, just to add a bit of something special in the background. And there's a little bit of hairspray in this spray as well. That's what causes it to dry quickly. And then this last one here. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to add my shimmer to the light areas. Oh, that is just so pretty. Love it. Let's see the sparkle. Oh. Perfect. Oh, love it. Oops, I dripped. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I haven't put my camera back on. There we go. And there's no purple on there. Just going to come in quickly and add a little bit of detail to the one inside. Just a bit too much then. Perfect. Just adding some little flecks of shimmer. Oops, they dropped a blob there. Oh, look at that. And look. Look at that shimmer. Just so pretty. And this will be dry in no time. So there we go. Ladies, I hope you like it. And gentlemen, even. Um, just give this a shake every time you use it. So there is my cards using the Butterfly Gala. Absolutely stunning. <gasps> I hope you like. I hope you give us a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. Uh, if you haven't already, please, please press subscribe and press the bell straight away. That way you'll be notified of any future videos. And come and see what I make tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.